It has been announced in the last few minutes that the famed actress, Dame Maggie Smith, has died. A statement has said that she passed away peacefully in hospital early this morning. An intensely private person, she was with friends and family at the end. She leaves two sons and five loving grandchildren who are devastated by the loss of their extraordinary mother and grandmother. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the wonderful staff at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital for their care and unstinting kindness during her final days. And it goes on to say, we thank you for all your kind messages and support and ask that you respect our privacy at this time. This statement has come from Chris Larkin and Toby Stevens. Uh, from their publicist on their behalf, announcing the death of Dame Maggie Smith. Let's look back at her incredible life and career. Little girls, I am in the business of putting old heads on young shoulders and all my pupils are the creme de la creme. Give me a girl at an impressionable age and she is mine for life. Miss Jean Brodie brought Maggie Smith international recognition and an Oscar for her portrayal of a maverick teacher in 1930s Edinburgh. I am dedicated to you in my pride. One co-star was her first husband, Robert Not Stevens. Beauty, Their turbulent marriage lasted six years. You bounced into bed with an artist, but you were horrified when you woke up with a man. Brought up in Oxford, she began acting in student productions while still at school. She became a star as a classical actress, especially in Shakespeare. Then, if he lose, he makes a swan-like end fading in music. On stage, she played Desdemona to Sir Laurence Olivier's Othello. But comedy was what she did best. I have a definite hump on my left shoulder. It costs 500 pounds and I look like Richard III. California Suite won her a second notice? Oscar, as a neurotic actress nominated for an Oscar. The part suited her rather pessimistic personality. There are no humps. When things go well, it is a bit alarming. I, I sometimes think that I've had so much luck and so much good fortune that uh, it frightens me somehow. But on Saturday I'm willing, if you'll only take the shilling... She could sing and dance in Oh What a Lovely War. Of the married state. Yet capture quiet a desperation with impeccable comic timing soldier. in Alan Bennett's Talking Heads. When we put our money in the plate, it is a symbol of everything in our lives we are offering to God, and that includes our sex. I could only find 10p. Now, today, we will be transforming animals into water goblets. She crafted some of her best loved Next characters in her 70s. One, two, three. Ferraverto. Including Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter movies. Now it's your turn. Yes. Can I do it? If you wish, my lady, of course. I don't know. Yeah, are, you, are you really that tall? Yes, my lady. And the Dowager Countess of Imagine Grantham, mistress of the devastating put-down in Downton Abbey. When I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English. But isn't she American? Exactly. Dame Maggie Smith, arch, touching and wickedly funny. Dame Maggie Smith, who has died aged 89, absolutely extraordinary career and... Uh, her, her work has touched many people right around the world, so I'm sure it's going to be uh, a very, very sad moment for many. Um, but of course, so much of her work uh, captured on film for posterity. And just to, to give you the statement again from her family, from her, her children, Chris Larkin and Toby Stevens, who've said it is with great sadness that we have to announce the death of Dame Maggie Smith. She passed away peacefully in hospital early this morning. An intensely private person, she was with friends and family at the end. She leaves two sons and five loving grandchildren who are devastated by the loss of their extraordinary mother and grandmother. And they go on to thank all the staff at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital for their care and kindness and ask for privacy at this time.
Now to the U.S. and a cleanup operation is underway in Florida and Georgia after they were battered by Hurricane Helene, one of the most powerful storms ever to hit the U.S. Gulf Coast. Three people have been killed. The damage caused by flooding and strong winds is estimated to run to $5 billion. The storm is losing power as it heads inland, but the U.S. National Hurricane Center says conditions remain life-threatening, as Will Vernon reports.